what is going on today folks i hope everyone is doing well today is friday october the 4th and i will just let you guys know ahead of time this video had been made an entire month ago on the first of september it's like late the day before labor day i know i'm terrible at getting these videos out on time but i'm bringing it to you anyway i'm trying um, some new things going on at the office as well. Well, not so much new, but I got some new plants, um, new growth. I added some more Siamese algae eaters. As you can see, that guy right there is getting down. Um, I know in this video, I said ornate repetitively, but it is pronounced ornate biker or Bashir dinosaur however you want to use that term i also got some more new things going on at the house as far as setting up a new plant tank and a 20 long i really wish i would have done it in a 40 breeder but i'm working with what i got right now i finished that aquarium coffee table too that thing is nice i actually am supposed to go check on it well I gotta get in contact with the owner so I can come check on it and video that because I really can't wait to do that. So um, yeah, this is my video on the Ornate Biker. Ornate Biker, check it out. What is going on folks? I am bringing it to you here in Latonia, GA on a Sunday, the day before Labor Day. And right now, I'm headed to my local pet store to pick up the coordinator, but I am also picking up two dinosaur fish that I was informed that the store got in last week. Yeah, last week. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, I want them so bad, but I'm so picked out of shape of money. But because I love my hobby and these fish so much, I'm going to spend the money anyway. But hey. That's all part of the hobby and the passion for what I do. So, we'll take you guys on a little trip. I am back here at my local uh, pet store, my local pet co. Guys, this is a Saudi will take care of you. <laughs> and I, unfortunately, my other camera died on me, but I have our new fish specialist, Deja, Hi. getting my ornate Hi. dinosaurs out. So our new associate, Deja, has gathered our monsters for the tank. I finally made it home. I had to get a bite to eat because I am starving. My throat is dry. I probably, I had probably drinking like one bottle of water since this day has started. So we are about to put some new guys in the 55 gallon and here's our trusty safe bucket so these guys don't roll around too much let's get that receipt out so these guys are getting a little warm in here and first up we have our pike cichlid what's going on dude that's a pretty fish um the other ones had deeper stripes um this one has a lot more shimmer to them so actually let me just go oh, crap Pike cichlid going in. And now I give you guys the main reason I even went to my local Petco today. You guys, these are ornate dinosaur fish, bikers. And yeah, the assistant manager knows I love these fish. And I actually have two in here. There's one of my guys. But unlike these guys versus those, those in there in my tank run $9 and some change, $10 a pop. These guys were $60 a pop. So yeah, I just spent $120 on two fish, but I really like them. And I know for a fact, no one else was gonna buy these fish or wanna spend that much money because they really don't know what they're getting. 
So I'm gonna get these guys acclimated as well. I really hope they do well with my two existing dinosaurs. I know there's a, you know, significant size difference, but hopefully because they're the same species, they get along. Um, yeah, guys, so just gonna get these guys acclimated. I am going to eat some food while they are acclimating. I just discovered something that I can't say it makes me mad, but I'm like, dang, I missed another opportunity. I had to go to the restroom, so I get on my phone, I get on Instagram, I start scrolling. Mind you, mind you, I just bought the GoPro Hero 7 Black last week. Now, I get on Instagram and I see this. Nationwide, Best Buy, all mobile sites is what's going on. I just bought this thing for full price. But anyway, our fish have been sitting for about 15 minutes now. I believe they're good and to go good and well to go. I got my blood parrots anxious to meet their new friends. I have no idea what this pike sickle is gonna do. He looks like he's ready to tear some stuff up. All right, so I'm about to take these guys out of the bags um, and release them. Always always never put the store water in your tank that is asking for big trouble usually quarantine but right now i'm not gonna lie i'm being hard-headed this tank is still technically under a treatment so if anything is to occur they're gonna catch it as well and when i say catch it i mean catch this treatment my wife just called me guys say so, hey What you doing? How you doing? Nana says hey. Yeah. Appreciate you having me. Nana said hey. What you doing? She said hey. Swoop away. Not the move. No. Uh, so yeah, we're um, in the middle of talking to her and acclimating these new fish. They don't seem like they're a problem. They're little guys right now. So, just dropped my fish in and they're getting along. They're not getting eaten by the bigger ones. That is something that I have always wondered about and considered when introducing newer of the same species of a carnivorous fish because he can fit in the other guy's mouth. So I'm like, technically they can be food. But as you can see, rope fish, Two different types of dinosaurs all getting along a pike cichlid as well so i will just let you guys know that the pike cichlid did not make it he probably lived for maybe a week and a half two weeks before he just kicked the bucket um yeah he was a nice fish i really wish i could come across another I might order another in time, but I'm not in too big of a rush to get one. Um, that was just something that the store had and unfortunately did not make it. Um, the one that they had um, wasn't looking too good either. I got the better of the two, but huh, yeah, things happen. We lose fish and we all hate that, but that's life. So I'll give you guys this. <laughs>
thumbs up. If you like the music that you just heard, give me a thumbs up. Big shout out to Create Music Worldwide, JTL and Lotto Stagira. Those are my buddies from high school. We were in band together and we still hang out to this day. So much appreciation to them. I'm gonna leave a link to their Airbit where you can listen and buy more sounds like the one you just heard in my video. Um, subscribe, please subscribe. Follow KS Aquatics on Instagram. Um, I, appreciate, I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, and until next time, bottle beats.